Hello and welcome back to the Lair of Centipedes. Today we have a ton of funnel web spiders to unbox, uh, 10 of them I believe. So this should be pretty enjoyable and I'm certainly looking forward to it, so let's get rolling. This is, okay, this is Atrax York Main Aurum. Okay, little, just your average size funnel web. All right, got the tape off. Am I really trying to open it up on the wrong side? I am. Hi. How are you? Okay. Whoa, you are fat. I mean, really, really fat. Like, really fat. We're gonna have to do some exercise, mate. You know, you know what? I'm, I'm a part-time cross-country coach. This would be great. We can go on some runs together. Like, seriously, because you need it. On a more serious note, when I joke about this sort of thing, I, well, I am joking. I am being sarcastic. Funnel webs don't need exercise. They are ambush predators. They spend a lot of their life inside a burrow. So it doesn't really matter that they're fat. Okay, enclosure time. Now let's pop in here let's, and not have any dramas. Let's pop in, come on, come on little fella. That's a good girl. A whole lot more relaxing than that centipede rehouse. Just what I need, just a nice, peaceful, fun web unboxing just like I wished for in that video. Oh, you're just huddled up now. <laughs> and people say these things are vicious and aggressive and will chase you. Well, look at this. We're gonna unbox our second funnel web of the day. This is Hadroniki or Rana. If I recall from the seller correctly, uh, it is actually not Hadroniki or Rana, but an undescribed species. I will have to double check about that though. I see you in there. Come out and play. You're not going to come out and play, are you? Oh, look at that fat butt sticking out. There we go, come on. Right. Being a bit difficult, are we? Come on, just let go. Oh, you really are being difficult. You look cool anyway. At least you got that going for you. So where's the other paintbrush? Come on. Don't do this to me. Just... Come on, one leg, just let go. Thank you. Ha ha ha, there we go, the spider treadmill is back. Look at that. This thing has absolutely massive chelicerae, built quite similar to Hadroniki Linabrae and Maraconda, in fact the latter of which I should have a couple more in the package. But yeah, this is the undescribed funnel web uh, similar to Hadroniki Orana. Uh, admittedly the enclosures seem a bit bare because I ran out of decorations a while ago, so I'm going to have to head out to the bush soon and get myself some more. Hm, I'm just going to stand there. Okay, what do we have next? We have Hadroniki maracunda. Excellent, one of my favorite funnel web species. Okay, again, we've got a, quite a bit of webbing in here. Oh, I see you. Now, I'm not entirely sure what. Should I just rip it open? Oh, look at it all huddled up in there, isn't that cute? Now, come on, get out, please. Oh, looks like we have a threat pose. You're gonna be one of those girls, are you? Oh, maybe come out through the back. Come on. Pop out the back, will you? There we go. No, 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 let go of the moss. Oh, 
I've got to say, this is a uniquely relaxed bunch of fun webs. Three of them unboxed, and I've basically not had a, th had a threat pose. I mean, this one kind of went for a half-assed threat pose, but now she's just chilling and uh, embarrassing herself by trying to climb again. Look, just give up. Oh, she listened to me. Yep, yeah, she's given up. Good. Oh, never, never mind. <sighs> you just want me to continue laughing at you? Because I can. Ha 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 ha. You suck at climbing. Ha 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 ha. Yes, that's it. Run away and cry now. Alright, little girl, playtime is over. Into your new home you go. Just... Just pop in, will you? Thank you. So yeah, Hadroniki Maraconda is probably one of my favourite funnel webs. There's nothing that remarkable about their appearance, though I do like their stockier build, but they have a very distinctive webbing style, and they are absolutely voracious eaters. Feeding time is always a treat for these. Okay, next up we have another Atrax York Maynorum, and she has one hell of a booty as well. She's also in a position that should make it pretty easy for me to get her out. Wow, you really are a stocky little fella, aren't you? And again, like I said, no threat poses. These, this is such a calm batch of funnel webs. Well, she's just going to stand around, so I might as well just get her in her box. Hi. I don't know if she's just well fed, but I mean, looking at that abdomen, she could be gravid, so he is hoping for a clutch. Although it's not like I need any more babies at the moment. Now, a second Hadroniki Maraconda. Now, I'm almost hoping for a threat pose. I mean, I want this unboxing to be a little bit exciting, and quite frankly, the funnel webs are making it pretty boring, not gonna lie. Come on. I ask for... A threat pose, and all I get is your fat buttocks. Whoa. Oh, oh, I got my wish. Oh, and then she just runs again. No, 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 come back out. Oh. Yeah, okay, I guess I gotta be careful what I wish for, because she is being a very tricky customer. Oh, very cranky. Very, very cranky. Well, I got my wish. No, 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 no. Come on. Look, oh, oh, you bit the paintbrush. Listen here, you little shit. We can either do this the easy way or the hard way. Oh, God. Oh, look. Legs up in the air. Oh, so scary. You don't even look scary when you threat pose, you just look like you're doing the YMCA but can't remember the last three letters. Out. Just back away. Let get away from the moss. There we go. Oh, you're a pretty big one too. Wow, that's a good size. It's like she just expended all of her energy on that threat pose, because look at her now. She's basically just a snail with legs. And I'll just spank you in the butt for some for your bad behavior. Although I did ask for a threat pose, so... I mean, can't blame her. Hi. No, no, you're not going to climb out, are you? I don't think you're physically capable of that. No, you're just going to dig, of course. Well, that is fine by me. And now we have another Atrax species. This is an undescribed one from Black Springs. Now, are you going to be chilled out like most of them, or are you going to be like the Maraconda? Looks like she's going to be chill. And she's also very chunky too. I 
Mark has a very elongated abdomen, and I kind of like it. Very unique. So yeah, undescribed Atrax species. Very cool addition to my collection. And Atrax are generally pretty heavy webbers, which I like, and I'm sure nearly every other spider keeper likes as well. So it should be fun to see what she does with her enclosure, especially once I manage to go out and get some decorations. In the meantime, we can watch her embarrass herself with her absolutely shit climbing. Really? Can't you just give up? Yeah, yeah, exactly, give up. It'll be much better for your self-esteem. You just need to recognise what you're good at and what you're not. Oh, no, 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 you are not going to. Oh, no, oh, look, 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 look who can't climb. I'm just going to sit here and film you while you continue to try and climb out of your enclosure and me and all of my subscribers can sit back and laugh. Come on, come on, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, that's what I get for getting too cocky, isn't it? <sighs> Alright, fine, you happy with yourself? You taught me a lesson. Now you're just going to sit here and act like you're all innocent. Well, I'm just going to whack the lid on and you won't be able to do anything after that. You are grounded, young lady. Grounded. Now we have another one of the Hadronici species, the undescribed one that was originally thought to be Orana. Oh, a lot of webbing there. Now, I'm just going to have to make you abandon your webbing project. Do not try to escape. Escape is futile. Oh, felt that bite. <laughs> I know I mock funnel webs a lot, but when they want to bite, they can really go for it. Just be cooperative here. Like, stop biting the paintbrush. Oh, we got another sassy lady, do we? Sassy, angry lady likes to cause her new owner a, lo a lot of problems. Oh, you're a special little one, aren't you? Look at you with your little tantrums. I should stick you in a pram just so you can throw your toys out. Now let's watch you try to climb out of the bowl and then we will see how scary you are. Oh, look at that. Not so scary anymore, are you, champ? Nah, didn't think so. Yeah, she's stopped now. Good. I hope I taught you a lesson. Oh, 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 no, never mind. And we're angry again. Okay, fine. Sweat pose time. Looks like you used up all that energy quickly. Madam? Ah. Flick. <laughs> that was easy. Now that is it for the funner webs, but I still have three more new additions and they should be something familiar to if you've been keeping in tune with my more recent uploads, including my uh, sudden interest in orthopterans. That of course includes King Crickets. More King Crickets. Hi, how are you going? Now quite frankly, I'm a whole lot more nervous getting these out than the funnel webs because they can jump and they can do it very very well also in case you missed my last video where I got king crickets this species is Anostostoma opacum it's actually one of the smaller species but still a pretty formidable animal nonetheless come on don't oh, oh hissing I can hear it hiss Well, that was easy enough. Now, I think, judging by the lack of an ovipositor, that this one is a male. Yeah, there's definitely no ovipositor there, so yep, male it is. And I got two females already, so, well, you know what that means. And I've also got, I think, two more females coming as well. 
Did you just try to kick something at me? Okay. I think this is another King Cricket. Um, but of course I'm going to not use my finger just in case it's a funnel web. Uh, but I'm quite sure it's a Cricket. Yeah, it is. And by the way, they're... I know they're commonly called King Crickets, but they are not actually True Crickets. True Crickets are, they form the family Gryllidae. I think it's, that's how it's pronounced. These are in the family Anostrostomatidae, along with the Wetters from New Zealand. Yeah, that's a female. You can tell by that ovipositor sticking out of the back, and straight onto the male she goes. Okay. I doubt they're likely to get into some action just yet, but it's good to know that they get on. Oh, I can see you just staring at me ominously from under the shadows. Ah, cr cricket. Oh, oh, hissing, hissing. Is that, is that supposed to scare me, is it? Really? Are you kidding me? Is, is that noise you're making supposed to scare me? Look at that little hissy fit. Hissy fit in the most literal sense of the word. Ah, I love you guys. Now, these king crickets are actually very formidable animals. They have, in fact, been known to eat funnel webs out in the wild, though I am not going to test that on my own pets, of course, as I am very fond of both my crickets and my funnel webs, and I would hate to throw their lives away like that. But yeah, there we are. Three more, where are you? Three more Anastostoma opacum to add to my collection, along with a bunch more funnel webs. So that's the end of this very, very long unboxing video. Feel free to check out some of my other content if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all very much for watching. That's it from me, and I will see you again very soon.